Hi guys, mabuhay! Welcome back to our channel. This is Efren and you're watching Planting with Efren Grace. Ito naman ang inyong hardinerong kapitbahay nagsasabing, tara, usap tayo! Welcome back to our channel. This is Ephraim and you're watching Planting with Ephraim Grace. Kamusta kayo guys? So if you're still looking for something that is cheap type of plant, pero maganda naman, well, one thing for sure, I will recommend you this particular plant. This is called Agave Potatum. Okay? This particular plant is also known as the Butterfly Agave or tinatawag din siyang Drunkard Agave. Okay? This plant hails from, uh, from Mexico in the semi-arid region found in the highlands of Puebla and of Saca. Okay? So, itong plant na to, definitely, as you can see at this particular area, um, this uh, plant uh, belongs to the family of asparag asparagaceae or yung tatawag nating century plant. Some species of this plant known to be Bershapelti, Barigata, Kishokan, at saka Kichiokan. Okay? So, yun yung mga variegated type or species na natawag nating uh, agave uh, pototarum. Okay? So, uh, another type of, uh, another, this particular plant, madali lang siyang alagaan actually. Yung kanyang mga kamag-anak, uh, they're actually a big type of agave. Okay? Big type of agave. Well, in this particular type of agave, medyo maliit lang siya. Okay? This particular agave uh, is actually a slow-growing small agave plant which tend to be alone. Pero makikita natin, meron siya mga uh, maliliit na mga halaman or yung tatag nating mga um, um, mga young plants. But definitely, I will explain it to you later. Okay? So, this plant attains a maximum height of up to 2 feet. Ganun siya kalaki. Okay? In a particular or in a um, uh, in its natural environment. So, the leaves are quite thick. Okay? And sturdy. Okay? Kaya nga madali siyang uh, maganda siyang alagaan especially if you are decide if you are decided to put it inside your uh, yung tatawag natin sa sa bahay o sa loob ng bahay basta ang importante dito ay medyo may araw tayong makikita. Okay. So this particular plant is actually um, has a leaf arrangement yung tatawag nating symmetrical rosette pattern or symmetrical rosette pattern yung paikot-ikot okay na pattern ng kanyang leaves. Okay? Aside from that, the leaves are lateral, creamy colored variegations. Now, yung iba naman, may kulay dyan yung blue-gray, pale green, or kaya green variegated with yellow. Okay? So, yun yung mga iba't ibang klase nila ng kulay ng kanilang leaves. But actually, this particular plant, agave, is not a, yung syempre, um, ito yung may, uh, agave plant na medyo pale green, o yung ating sinatawag na pale green na variety. Okay? So, uh, individual leaves may reach up to 18 inches long and vary in shape. So, pero mapapansin natin, this particular plant, medyo arrowhead yung kanyang structure. Which is quite, uh, very definite doon sa mga, or um, uh, quite uh, different from the other um, agave type. Okay? Aside from being uh, small, yung kanyang dahon kasi is quite, uh, is different. So, uh, another thing that you should be able to look also, yung kanyang mga spines doon sa dulo ng kanyang dahon. This particular spine is a chestnut brown spine. Okay? So, yun yung kanyang color. Okay? This is quite um, uh, medyo delikado to kasi nga, um, pwede kang matusok nito or masugatan. Okay? So, be careful doon sa mga nag-aalaga. Especially if you have some kids in your house. Okay? Dapat hindi sila uh, dumidikit sa ating agave. Okay? Another one is, another feature of this particular plant, there is a 1 inch terminal spine. Ito yun. And then, the leaves also are edge. Okay? Sa, sa edge nung kanyang leaves, may tayo tinatawag na short marginal spine also. Yan, ito mga to. So, this is called tip. Tinatawag yung tip uh, uh, with this particular area. Okay? So, para siyang ngipin. Okay? So, another one is, uh, this particular plant also uh, produce flowers. Okay? 
So the type of flowers of this medical plant is similar to a tight ball or cluster of flowers on a very short lateral branch. So may nagmumutubo from the from the from the center and then doon ngayon nagpo-produce na tinatawag nating mga uh, ng, ng ng stem which is actually holds the 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 flowers or yung isang bukos na flower. Um, if this particular plant is kept outdoor, the flowers of this interesting plant provides food for the um, pollinators. Ano ba yung mga pollinators ng halaman na to? It could have hummingbirds, sunbirds, moths, at saka bats. So yun yung mga, mga uh, kumakain o nakumukuha ng mga nutritions from this particular flowers ng plant. Ito. Okay, in terms of the light and temperature, remember that this plant is a desert dweller. Ibig sabihin lang nun, hindi sila pwede mag-tolerate -tolera uh, ng masyadong malamig na environment. So, if I were you, um, hindi, nyo, hindi ko pwede siyang ibabad sa loob ng bahay, especially if yung house naman ay air-conditioned. So, dapat medyo lalagay ko siya sa uh, type ng area kung saan um, pre-air air, or, wala, wala, uh, or hindi mababa yung temperature. Okay, so definitely, it requires uh, warm temperatures and syempre, lots of sunlight. So, maraming maraming sunlight ang kailangan niya. Okay, so that means this particular works, or this particular plant works with well, or uh, uh, very well in full sun. Okay, except of course, kung medyo, medyo hindi na maganda yung sikat ng araw, or yung tatawag natin nakakapaso na yung sikat ng araw. Of course, you have to take over on this particular plant. So medyo alam naman natin yun pag masyadong mainit na mainit na yung, yung sunlight or sun rays. So we have to keep this particular plant already. Next, uh, um, since it is a desert plant, it, it's actually tolera tolerable to sa tinatawag nating mga water or sa water. Okay? So you have to provide only water for this particular plant provided na completely dried up na yung ating plants. So in that case, pwede na kayong siyang diligan okay all throughout so it prefers also high humidity okay now uh, remember also again ito medyo unique to sa kanya remember also not to fertilize the plant now why kasi pag na fertilize yung plant na to it will definitely produce a flower and after mag bloom ng flower the plants will automatically die tapos yung mga nandito sa side na to the plant the mother plant will then be replaced by the smaller plants. So that is after na magkaroon ng flower yung ating uh, agave. Okay. So the the most important thing lang dito is you have to provide a top of dun sa kanyang substrate. Nung tinatawag nating cactus and succulent type na mga soil mix. So yun lamang pero hindi natin pwede siyang i-pad up ng maraming fertilizer kasi nga uh, it will bloom, yes, pero it will die after it blooms. Okay? Next, um, soil. So, this particular plant is strictly follows yung natawag natin well-drained and sandy succulent potting mix. What does that mean? So, ibig sabihin nun, strictly, kailangan ay sharp drainage. Ibig sabihin, walang natitirang any moisture sa ating agave plant or sa ating soil mix sa agave plant. And we have to definitely iwasan natin yung mga uh, soil mix na retains or uh, containing or retains the moisture of the soil mix. So, kailangan walang wala talaga. Okay? So, um, if you don't have uh, any soil mix ng CNAS, so definitely, you could devise your own. So, 50-50 mix of standard potting soil and coarse play sand. Ibig sabihin, you have the uh, 50% soil uh, potting soil tapos 50% soil uh, coarse uh, pleasan. Okay, yun ang kailangan natin. Okay? For this particular plant. Okay. So in terms of the growing and maintenance of this plant, um ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, um the best thing that you have to do is you have to remove tong ating tinatawag nating mga smaller plant, itong small plantlets para maging maganda yung kanyang growth. Okay? Kung ating gusto i-maintain siya next ipag na single, so we have to remove yung mga small growth niya sa tabi at i-replant siya. Okay? I-replant uli siya sa panibagong pot. So that it will provide primarily spaces doon sa growth ng pinaka-mother plant. Okay? So yun ang kagandahan about this plant. Okay? Um, next, uh, this my smaller plant, yung natawag nating suckers, 
and um, you have to, uh, to you have to remove this one to make the mother plant look tidy. Okay. Um, there are two ways on how to propagate this. Okay, the first one nga, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, yung suckers, tanggalin natin from the mother plant. And the next one is seeds. Okay? Um, yung iba kasi ang ginagawa nila, kinukuha nila mismo yung seeds after it was being pollinated at mag-form na siya ng seed pod doon sa kanyang agape. So, yun. That is one way of dealing with the plant itself. Okay? In terms of the propagation. Now, agave pests and diseases. Yes, Itong agave plant natin, well, actually here in the Philippines, wala masyado siyang uh, tatawag dating mga pests and diseases. Uh, pero, in its natural environment, this particular plant can be um, a menu para sa mga tatawag natin cactus longhorn beetle, subscale insect, and the agave snout weevil. So, yun ang tumitira doon sa kanyang mga dahon. Now, in terms of the... Um, yung mga tinatawag natin uh, the, the characteristics pag siya ay uh, manifested or infested na siya ng mga, mga insekto na yan so it will have a drying and withered leaves tapos meron siya mga brown spot do sa kanyang leaves yun yung kanyang indicators na meron siyang infestation ng mga pest na yon then we have also some fungi yeah we have fungi this is what we call uh, pylostica uh, pylos ticta pad spot root and crown rot and anthracnose yan, yun yung mga fungus na pwede tumubo sa ating um, agave well, um, of course um, definitely dapat ay meron tayong enough moisture okay, para mag, mag produce or mag propagate yung, yung mga fungus pero since na uh, kumimaintain lang natin yung dryness ng kanyang dahon at hindi natin siya masyadong isasubject sa mga rain uh, ang mga sa mga rain showers so maging safe na safe yung ating agave plant. So ano ang indication na mayroong fungus in, uh, infestation sa ating plants? Of course, there will be a brown spot, black spot, lesion and even signs of rot doon sa ating dahon. So luckily, I don't have that one here in my agave plant. Okay. So uh is this plant toxic? Yes, it is so toxic and it can cause rash and irritation to sensitive skin. And it can cause gastrointestinal stress. Okay, so you could use this one um, bilang mga gar uh, sa mga staging na mga, na mga garden. Yes, mga rock garden. So, pwede pwede siya. Uh, also, ginagamit din siya, kaya nga sinawag natin drunk card gabi, is because it could you could create something like uh, pwede siyang gawing um, wine, okay, Mexican wine, tinatawag natin pulque. Another one is yung tinatawag natin um, bacanora. Okay, so ginagamit siya doon. So, this plant, maganda siyang ilagay natin sa halam, sa ating bahay, especially sa mga terrace o sa mga areas na maraming, na, na makakuha siya ng magandang sikat ng araw. So, it's worth for your collection, maganda siyang uh, i-keep, okay? So, I think that's all folks. You're watching Planting with F and Grace. Please watch and subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to visit our FB page si Maria Gracia Tanglihim na Hardin. So, thank you. See you next time and goodbye.